here we are at Toronto Pearson International Airport. It is the largest airport in the country. It is a small city unto itself. There's approximately 40,000 employees at the airport and approximately 44 million passengers per year and growing. This is the Integrated Operations Control Centre, or IOCC. We opened up the IOCC in September of 2012. Prior to that, we had a number of uh, uh, dispatch centers, I'm going to call them, spread across the airport. So we had our airport operations control and the security control in one location, but our maintenance guys were in a completely different building. Our, our gate planners were in a different building again. But as we were growing, we felt there was a requirement to put the groups together. The airport underwent a business transformation exercise, uh, evaluating on how the airport is uh, rendering service to our passengers. Uh, tenants and other partners. If there is an incident, the airport wants to make sure that it has the capability to collaborate uh, with external agencies. This tool, the ActiveView tool, has that capability. We wanted our vendor to see forward beyond what we need today and for scalability, uh, expansion. ActiveView became part of the project team very quickly. Once we start the project, this is the room where we do our central command and control and our information flow in and out of uh, our operations. We have our airport operations, we have our security operations, we have our gate planners, we have our staff deployment, we have our maintenance. Our airport duty manager resides in here. But in addition to that, we also have airlines in here, so Air Canada's in here, WestJet's in here, Transat's in here. This product, the ActiveView product, is capable of integrating itself throughout the airport not only within the Toronto airport team, if necessary, it can be extended to uh, external uh, law enforcement agencies, government agencies, if necessary. It is very capable and robust system. The video wall, it's very important because there's eight different groups inside this room and they're all doing their own individual work, but they all have the same display. Uh, it gives you a lot of data and a lot of information at the same time and all of those various groups can look at whatever it is they need to look at, but you don't necessarily need to actually talk to somebody to get your answer. So that's where it's critically important in my mind. The video wall is one of our primary assets that we use. We have the ability to bring up whatever it is that we need to bring up at any given time. Um, and that's how it really enhances that person's situation awareness because that's the real critical component. Uh, ActiveView came in and trained us, showed us best practice on how things are done in other control centers because one of the area where we leverage their expertise is their ability to go and work with hundreds of other control centers throughout the world. If you can tell them what your vision is, they've, they've done so many of these that they could actually take your vision and say, but have you thought of this? Have you thought of this? Because we can do this, we can do this. That airport over there does that, and did you know that? And, and a lot of times you go, oh, I didn't know I could even do that. So I guess the message there is, is don't, don't limit yourself to what you think you can do. Think big and then, then talk to them and you'll probably find out it could be even bigger. In all of the systems we have achieved our goal. When it comes to, uh, to the collaborative platform of ActiveView, uh, we have met and exceeded our expectation. I get that feedback from the end users. And so now we're on that list of other people can call us and would we give a recommendation? Yes, we would. It is an extended partnership. So. I recommend that kind of partnership with anyone who wants to do that and uh, the ActiveView team has been uh, uh, exceptional for us.